the idea of, of conditioning seed is to take all the things that a harvest piece of equipment can't remove, run them through a conditioning process, and purify the seed to where what's left is what's going to actually turn into a, a new plant. The, the processing or conditioning of, of seed is all to, to increase those germination rates to the point that they're 95 to 99 percent uh, uh, germing seed. And to get there, you've got to remove impurities from harvest that might be chaff. Uh, you've also got to remove other seed that in a, in a feed setting might work all right if it's ground or fed to animals, but in a seed setting, light seed that doesn't germinate uh, also needs to be removed. In seed and edibles, primarily in edibles, you're, you're going to want to remove, remove stones, dirt clods from edible beans and things like that. In a seed line, you may remove dirt or stones from a product that's harvested off of the ground, or you may be removing chaff, pieces of stalk, other foreign plant material that might be in there. Many times you'll remove broken or damaged seed kernels. The damage may happen throughout the processing line, and as it gets to the gravity separator at the end of the line, you'll, you'll remove some of that mechanical damage as well. It can be insect damaged seed that may have the, the viability of the seed reduced due to insect damage. It may be damage uh, from breakage. It may be seeds that are not completely formed, so it's a, a defect in the seed as it comes off of the plant. There are many reasons you want to remove the damaged seed, but in most cases, damaged seed is lighter than the good, viable seed. So some of the seeds may look good, they may not look damaged, but they may not be as heavy. They might not contain as much material inside the shell of the seed, and so you want to remove it to put the highest quality product into the bag that you can do off of the end of the gravity. When you bring that material into a conditioning facility, uh, there are multiple pieces of equipment in the processing line that help the gravity table to do its job, which is to make a weight separation based on that particle's density. The physics involved in, in separation really lend themselves to many different kinds of products. We can separate nearly anything that's dry, granular, and flowing. We can separate it by, the, by bulk density, by size, by shape, several different things. And so you start through the process. You start off very coarse. You do a, a scalping operation to remove particles that are bigger than those you want to keep. Then you go to a sifting operation and remove particles that are smaller than those you want to keep. You may go through an air aspiration system to pull off dust and light particles. The process can then flow on to shape separations, which can happen either in an indented cylinder or a precision sizer, which can separate both by shape, being round or flat, or by size, or both. And then generally you flow on to either a destoner or a gravity separator. What will remain common to, to most processing lines is that the separations get harder as you go, and they become more refined and more precise. One of the key pieces of technology that has evolved over the last couple of decades in the seed industry would be what's called seed applied technologies. That's basically treatments that are applied to the seed. They may be fungicides, insecticides, maybe some micronutrients that are designed to help the seed have more vigor, have better yield, have better pest resistance. And they've done great things for, seed, for plant production around the world, but they introduce some difficulties into the conditioning process. First, you have to have a treater, which has become a very sophisticated computerized piece of equipment. And now the, the treatment rates have gotten high enough that the seed's hard to handle after it comes out of the treater. It's sticky, it's wet, and causes some other problems as you go on to the packaging system. So now we start to see dryers showing up after treaters in many conditioning plants. And it allows them to take their, their seed applied technology several steps further and allows the plant throughput to stay very high and makes the product very easy to handle and, and easy to clean up. Modern seed conditioning has grown to take advantage of many industrial automation techniques that are out there. You see plants being run almost completely by computer, programmable logic controllers, PLCs, touch screens that allow operators to walk up and make quick and easy adjustments to machines as well as to monitor the process. You see individual pieces of equipment taking advantage of computerized technology. And what this has done is it, it has allowed plants to run very consistently. It's allowed them to run with smaller workforces. 
it's allowed them to it's allowed them to put out more consistent quality and adhere to a standard that today's farmer expects to see when he when he buys a sack of seed. The modern seedsman is going to have to understand something about computers as well as understanding something about seed. Automation enables a process uh, to become more repeatable, more efficient, uh, much much more precise, and all in all, much more productive. When you're purifying product, what you're doing is you're making determinations using the physical characteristics found in whatever particle it is you're trying to separate and adding that next level of your ability to uh, sell it at a higher value and that's the machine that you look at to make money.